bin. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you can't do anything about it. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and pull the radio into the room. That's the room. And hey, why don't you tell me sometime? Area code 323 KL5 KTMK. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you asleep? Uh, uh, insects. Insects? As in you have an insect problem? Or chirping crickets are keeping you up? Or you have nightmares about them? Help me out here. No, no, no. Don't you know? When you fall asleep, they can crawl into your mouth or your ears or, or your nose. <laughs> fishing today and I caught a big one. Can you hear him flopping around the bathroom? That's how you can tell he's fresh. I can't do it. I never sleep at night. You know, they voluntarily eat insects in some countries. Yeah, well, those countries probably need Jesus. Jesus. I already tasted him. He's delicious. You'll love him. And what exactly do you do? I'm a middle school teacher. That would explain why my nephew invested that 20 I sent him for his birthday on the magic beans. It's always good to know that the future of our country is in good hands, isn't it? Oh boy. Let's see who else we got. Caller, caller. Hey, what, are you doing? what the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit. I'll kill that crazy bitch. Roger. Um, I'm a writer, Deb. So, have you written any of movies I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished any screenplays he plays yet. Psycho bitch brought me here, hit me in the head, and locked me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? So, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because I once fixed my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves themselves? Therapeutic! As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. Deeming yourself something you're not, or not even trying to be. Um, I think I'm pretty good at knowing what's good writing from bad writing. Well, wouldn't that make you a critic? Let's see if anyone else agrees. Line two. Are you ready for a menage a trois? Sure thing, Deb. And would you please state what you do for a living? I'm a personal assistant for a What the hell does that mean? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Hey! Is that okay, Line 2? Tell me, dude. Well, um, uh, okay. So, uh, my story's about this guy. You don't say. Okay, so, okay, so this guy, he's, well, he's like a, an FBI agent, but, you know, he doesn't really, really, really uh, I'm being watched. I know it. Something followed me. They could be watching me right now. Make them stop. Make them stop. Get their eyes off me. Are the eyes really gone? Will it really be okay? Do I still distract you? Well, line two, what do you think? You're gonna option it or what?
Will Samuel. I ain't seen you here before. If I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. flatbread and olive oil, and take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes, and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? I wanted to know why. Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening, and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. I'm not sure exactly what you mean.
Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Not so fast. Before you go, there is the matter of tribute. Call me old-fashioned. But this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? You live long enough, you'll be asking some whelp to do the same thing. And as I mentioned, this is simply a matter of tribute. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs>